Hi, everybody, and welcome to another Weekly Rewind presented by Attractions Magazine. I'm your host, Nick Russo. It's a look back on the last seven days of our Twitter feed. Let's go ahead and begin. Last Monday, on October 20th, the first thing that we shared is that you could now add your Disney Chase Visa card to your passbook on your iPhone 6, that is, to use with Apple Pay. Also on the 20th, the B Resort over in the downtown Disney area, which is usually in blue lights, was in pink lights for Breast Cancer Awareness Month, which, as you may know, is the month of October. And finally on the 20th, Casey Ladd on Twitter shared that the tram cars for Disney's Hollywood Studios backlot tour were now being hauled away after a pretty considerable amount of time since the attraction's closing. On to Wednesday... October 22nd, Rainforest Cafe shared a public invitation to their spooktacular Halloween party, which was going to be held on October 29th. And also on the 22nd, Touring Plans on Twitter shared that Spider-Man, the walk-around character, was doing a late-day meet-and-greet in the port of entry, which is kind of an unusual place to see that character. On October 23rd, we saw a couple of new sculptures outside of the Cowfish Restaurant on City Walk. The upcoming restaurant, thanks to Magic City Mayhem, we saw this picture. And perhaps maybe this was a hostess stand or a menu booth, something like that. Also on the 23rd, we shared you a glimpse of the new gift shop and stand over uh, downtown Disney. This is called Sublime. As well, we shared some limited edition Vinylmations from a past exclusive event which were available at D Street in downtown Disney. Those are limited, though. And finally, on the 23rd, it was the ninth anniversary of the Raglan Road, Road Pub in downtown Disney. On to October 24th, the Move It, Shake It, Dance and Play It debuted at the Magic Kingdom, and here's the info in Times Guide. The actual daily guide map to the Magic Kingdom got a new look with the Seven Dwarves Mine train up on the front. We shared an update on the Magic Kingdom hub construction as progress comes along there as we push toward finalization. And we also gave you a look at the actual festivities from the Move It, Shake It, Dance and Play It event. Be sure to check out full coverage from the event right here on our channel via videos. Also on the 24th, BioReconstruct shared that new Christmas items went up for sale at Disney's Polynesian in their gift shop. And finally on the 24th, a new Big Hero 6 merchandise stand went up in Disney's Hollywood Studios right outside of the Disney Junior soundstage. On October 25th, from Spooky Empire, we shared the cover of the event program, which paid tribute to the Haunted Mansion through other famous horror characters. Also from Spooky Empire on the 25th, we shared one of the highlights from the event this year, which is a meet-and-greet, or was a meet-and-greet, with the voice actor Chris Sarandon of Nightmare Before Christmas. As well on the 25th, we shared some of the other sculptures that had gone up outside of the Cowfish Restaurant on CityWalk. This one is of their official mascot, the actual cowfish, which you can sit on and have your picture taken with out there in front of the restaurant. And finally, on the 25th, a brand new Christmas store opened up in Universal Studios. No word if this store is only temporary or more permanent, like its sister store over in Islands of Adventure across the way. Coming to our last day here, which was October 26th, BioReconstruct shared with us some of the moments from the IACP 5K at Universal Studios, which included Chief Wiggum cheering on runners in Springfield, and even runners running through Hogsmeade over in Islands of Adventure. Alright guys, that is going to do it for this edition of the Weekly Rewind. I'm your host, Nick Russo, and as always, thanks for watching. Until next week, guys, have fun. Bye.